I said, well, Mom, Mark, I have uh, some news for you. And they thought the news was going to be Julius and I are getting married. And uh, so it was totally different from what they expected. She first mentioned it by saying, by talking about the test that she took and about the results. And we didn't know what she was talking about. You know, we didn't know if she was sick or what was wrong. They didn't understand, so I had to say it bluntly. I said, I'm pregnant. And, I mean, I was probably one of the most upset people because <laughs> I, I didn't want to disappoint them, and I did. I was more sad for her because I have, you know, you have expectations for your children. And my expectations for her, uh, for her life, this was not it. And so she did not meet my expectations, so it made me angry. Because she talks about things that she would have liked to have done in places she would have liked to have gone. And it's, 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 it can't be anymore. It's not part of her life. I cried. I cried. And Mark cried. We all cried. My mom would send me home, like I would have to be home, we'll say nine. And my dad would say home, come home by 11. Yeah, you know, I try to go to the dad first, then the mom. I would come home 11 o'clock, and my mom said, where are you? And I saw dad sent, sent me home, to have, told me to be home by 11. If he comes home late and he knows it's because he just didn't pay attention to the time, there's a consequence for that. And then they go upstairs and have words, and I'm, I, I'm, I get away with it scot-free. It's great. Sometimes he wishes I wasn't a teacher because he says I know too many of the ins and outs the kids go through. And it's true, I do. He, he tells her almost anything. Uh, not that I'm more stern or different than him, but he's more relaxed in speaking with her, you know. But that's great because now we know that he's one-on-one -on -one and he has a, a good rapport that he could speak to his parents without running away and, and, and not being involved. My mother and my father divorced when I was really young, and I think that was one of the hardest things to accept, is that I will never have my paternal father as my real father in my life. The hardest part for me was to really accept my stepfather as being the man with the authority in the household. I was like, you're not my dad. He's like, you can't tell me. He's like, well, I can tell you. And so that created a lot of conflict. I work as a videographer, which is just another way of saying that I'm a, I take a video camera and I shoot pictures with it. We go out in the field, could be, like I said, anywhere around the world. Jenny, my stepdaughter, uh, is really like, like my real daughter. I've raised her since she was about eight. We've had some tough times, but for the most part, uh, it's been a wonderful relationship. We went through some really hard times. We did. But um, it, he's my dad, you know, he's raised me and he loves me as his own daughter. This is my brother Doug. He's one of the best in his school for spinning the rifle. He takes his stuff pretty seriously and it's pretty hard to break his concentration. See, I could, that rifle spin, I could do the same thing, but with my sticks. I'm gonna see if I can break his concentration a little bit. This is my sister Jackie, and me and her like to play a lot of video games, so that's what we pretty much do together, a lot. If my parents aren't home, I'm usually the one that's babysitting her, or my brother's babysitting her. I love her a lot, you know, I'll do anything for her. I really didn't think that Julius was the one for her. Um, and so that was hard. It was here she was now, she was gonna have a baby, it was his baby, and it's not the right one. Now there's a lot of quote unquote, you know, myths or I don't know, on other American people where they do this and then run away from their responsibility. I consider myself to be well disciplined and I've been, I've been taught my responsibilities fairly well. And that's where I guess the honor aspect comes in that, you know, I'm going to take a hold of my responsibility. We're called day traders. Uh, we try to get in, buy a stock, and get out as fast as you can without holding on for long periods of time. And we do this over the internet. 
When the market opens at 9.30, we just trigger our, what we have to do, whether it's selling them or buying at the, at the time. It's enjoyable. It's enjoy. It's exciting. I mean, when you buy something and then you sell it and then you made money, it's exciting. <laughs> I work at uh, Betty F. Williams Elementary School. I teach grades one through five. There's over 900 children in the school. And I see about 800 of them every day. So I have my hands full. <laughs> you can't do this unless you love the kids. You just can't do it. And it's, it just starts your day out when they get off that bus and they give you that hug and say, you know, oh, you're my favorite. Uh, not, nobody turns that down, nobody. And, uh, and I eat it up, so there's nothing better. There's no better feeling. I'll make my own decisions, but if I have a tough one, I usually go to my parents. You know, talk to them, see what they think. When you have a uh, a family that that talks together, cries together, lives together, then hopefully, as you're living it, you will teach it, and that's what we try to do. We try to teach it on to our children.